This is no ordinary classroom discussion. These children are debating some of life's most important issues, questions that even their parents may struggle with. It doesn't necessarily have to say, like, everybody has to have the equal yeah, amount of power. In life, nobody's going to have equal exactly. power to other people. And, you know, people might think that philosophy, of course, is only suitable for university level. I think that's actually quite wrong. It's important to develop their capacities for questioning, intellectual exploration and reasoning from an early age. Yeah, I think adults really listen to what we say and what we feel on things more now and I think it goes back to some of our um, philosophy rules like we have to respect each other's opinions and understand that there's more than one answer. Professor Philip Cam from the University of New South Wales leads an innovative program bringing the teaching of philosophy to classrooms. He works with several schools all over Australia. In 2006 he became mentor to Stanmore Public School in Sydney. Well, philosophy uh, has a number of educational benefits. One of them is that it engages children in inquiry-based learning, which is a very, very powerful way in which they learn. And the second thing is that it engages them in discussion about all sorts of really rich subject matter. Students are taught to be good at exploring problems and issues and questioning them. They're also, through philosophy, learning to be able to analyse and construct ideas. And thirdly, that means they're also uh, being taught to reason well. And this way of thinking has social outcomes which include uh, being more tolerant, being more open-minded, being more reasonable. The structure of the lesson today was quite a typical philosophy lesson that we have when we're looking at a concept. I took the notion that kids often say, oh, that's not fair, and got them to pull that apart, examine that, come up with a criteria for what they think fair is. But um, when I look at that life, I'd be like, oh, really? Is that how you guys live? Phil's been fantastic to work with. I mean, we jumped into this project with very little experience or training ourselves. I just make it happen in the classroom, but all that kind of knowledge and understanding um, was passed on from Phil. It's actually quite important to give teachers not just practical tips and, a, a, you know, a box of uh, usable tools, but it is actually quite important to give them some theoretical background. So they need to have a little understanding of philosophy, a knowledge and understanding of the educational principles, and a great deal of practical knowledge of how to implement those things. Uh, and so it's really quite important to inform the more theoretical work that I do by being involved in a practical way in education out in the field. That's really, really important if you're going to be socially useful as a philosopher. You both get hit, but it's not fair because you should treat someone the way you want to be treated. There's been a significant impact on the children academically, their capacity to analyse and think critically. It's definitely improved their oral skills and their confidence. I think parents really like the notion of children being able to approach issues in a really reflective and analytical way. To talk about philosophy being in the curriculum is one thing as a subject. To talk about how it might be embedded into teaching and learning to strengthen what happens in schools is another. And the work that I've been doing under the banner of philosophy is really about the latter. It's about strengthening ordinary teaching and learning in ordinary classrooms. And I think philosophy has a great deal to give here.